Tin and do. Just get the night out. See what we can. Shall we push into the center? See if we can get this center opened up at all. Looks a very sort of somber opening. Again, it's like a waiting game, waiting for us to overextend, kind of thing. So this sitting waiting malarkey is really so dry, it's unreal. So I'm just going to bring the bishop here, and then go castle. It's like playing a game of football and basically both sides, well one side just keeps the ball in their half of the board, uh, of, the, um, of the field and they never go past into the other. You're not going to score a goal are you? And that's what this type of play is, it's so dry and kind of, it's not, to me it's not chess, it's just like bouncing around in the back of, on, in your, on your side of the board. And it's just not interesting. It doesn't really show true chess skill. It's not interesting at all in the sh in the slightest. Same with like the you know the Fianchetto type thing. It's not interesting at all. It doesn't show skill levels. Don't care if grandmasters do it and all that sort of stuff. It doesn't show chess. You know you're just playing football in your own half of the board. Look at this man be pamby pushing here. What's all this about? Let's just push this pawn here. Let's take. Let's get the game a little bit more interesting now. Let's drive something. Let's capture this bishop. Looks like they're now trying to jazz it up a little bit. But I'm hoping they make errors from their sitting back and waiting type thing. I'm quite surprised they've done this type of manoeuvre. And they're now looking for the queen to come here to basically get in towards our king area. No big biff there, really. So we can. Let's have a look. There must be... Just take our time because we've got plenty of time. Queen King can come here to defend the pawn. And that's what we'll do. Just make space for the rooks. So I like to really ram home. I mean, we've got two pieces on here, so we could attack their bishop. Ram home the fact of this lazy chess type play. Now this person has started out lazy, and then all of a sudden, maybe they've realized, oh, I need to start activating because my pieces aren't in the game. Now it's a little bit kind of too late for them to get activated. They've gone for quick and dirty tactic type uh, maneuvers. So I think you can't just jump from one sort of style to the other and expect um, a half decent result. We could take here, I'm going to take the bishop off the board, real simple. I'm going to take the pawn. Uh, no airs and graces. Queen can come up, do we develop this knight? Get this knight to go here, to go here, to attack the queen. Keep it simple. Also, he's on the pawn. So I think the worst thing you can do when you're playing a lazy player is to underestimate, you know, and that's the whole idea behind doing small pawn moves and Fianchetto type thing. It's like it's for you to underestimate and it's for you to overextend. And it looks like they may have left the game. Yep, four seconds, three, two, one. And there you have it.